हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो इन सिविल बिजनेस रूम मैक्सिमम साइज ऑफ अ सेट आफ्टर रिमूवल यू विल सी मेनी सॉल्यूशंस अगेन व्हाट आई रूड आल्सो वाज अ बिट बिग एंड हैविंग मेनी ऑफ कंडीशंस बट स्टिल देयर इज द शॉर्टेस्ट सुपर क्लीन सुपर सिंपल सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस टू नो एंड दैट यू कैन आल्सो सी हाउ द कोड इज सुपर सिंपल एंड सुपर कंसाइज दैट्स वन ऑफ व्हाट वी गोना सी इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स सी व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम सेज द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजर आर कॉल्ड एज नम्स 1 एंड नम्स 2 Again, both are of even length. Why even length, brother? Because the problem in next portion will say that you have to divide the array in half. Which means, if the length is n, which is even, then you have to do a n by two. So you have to divide by two. So that's the reason they have given an even input array. Now you must remove n by two elements from the nums one and n by two elements from the nums two. After removal, you insert the remaining elements of nums one and nums two into a set S. now you know that set contains unique elements so it it is just saying that from nums1 i take some element from nums2 i take some element and then i combine them and put them in the set my ultimate goal is that whatsoever i am putting in my set should have the maximum possible size how a set can have a maximum possible size a set can have maximum possible size only when the set is containing the unique number of elements so i want to maximize the unique number of elements so the standard thing what i'll do is i will try to grab the unique elements itself at the first place and then will combine them and then will just say this is a unique number of elements which i can have so how i'll do is i'll okay okay i'll just have nums1 so i'll make a set i'll grab the unique elements before hand itself okay unique elements are just 1 and 2 okay for set 2 which means for nums 2 my unique elements are s2 which is 1 now i know i can futurely predict that i will be merging these two sets indirectly maybe i will just reduce some elements but indirectly i will have to merge my s1 and s2 so for sure whenever the common element will come in it will actually be duplicated so for sure i cannot i won't be able to count okay s1 dot size plus s2 s2 dot size is the answer no i will have to also make sure what's a common element because that common element between set 1 and set 2 will actually be counted as just one itself so what i'll do is i will handle this common element separately so i'll look i'll get and ask bro what is the common element between s1 and s2 bro will say bro common element between s1 and s2 is actually just one so i have just one element that is one so now 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 i will be handling my s1 as okay i'll remove my common element from s1 so it will become s1 minus common element so it will become only two s2 minus common element it will become only empty and then common element separately so now my input has become three sets which are all is joined that is a reason that is a reason i can simply i can say okay i will have a two in my answer i will have empty i will have a one in my answer so if i answer will have a two and a one so that is size is a two so you saw i made a set then i know okay i will be combining those sets so for sure common element will be removed so i indirectly removed the first place common element i indirectly removed already so i indirectly removed the common element directly itself and then whatsoever elements remain what the elements remain i just know okay this will for sure be unique so i can just get its size okay s1 minus c whatsoever is remaining its size is 1 common element its size is 1 its size is 0 so for sure i know that my answer will be size of 2 let's see the next example in this again nums1 i'll convert that to a set okay set will have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 nums2 i'll convert that to a set it will have 2 and 3 again i will grab the common elements out okay from s1 and s2 what what are, what are the common elements it is 2 and 3 now i will remove my common elements from my set1 and from my set 2 so my set 1 will actually be containing 1 4 5 and 6 and my set 2 will be empty now with the problems with so far what you have learned you will just say bhaiya so answer is 4 plus 0 plus 2 so answer is 6 i will say no the problem also had one more condition that from one set you can take only n by 2 elements so i will have to take okay minimum of s1 minus c or n by 2 which is n by 2 is 3 so i can take at max 3 elements from one set from this nums one set 
So I know that I, I'll bound this my S1 minus C and I'll take only N by 2 elements. Here also I'll bound this up, but here S, S2 minus C itself is 0, so no worries. So from here I'll get 3 elements, from here 0 elements, from common I'll get 2 elements. So answer is 3 plus 0 plus 2, which is 5. That's the reason the answer is 5. But bhaiya, 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 so you are saying that you will do a N1 by 2 maximum, which because you are doing you are doing a okay minimum of N1 by 2 comma comma s1 minus c plus minimum of n2 by 2 comma s2 minus c c is the common element plus c itself so bhaiya you are doing like this right but bhaiya as we saw that s1 minus c it can be more than n1 by 2 yeah s2 minus c can also be more than n2 by 2 so in worst case it will be n1 by 2 n2 plus n2 by 2 plus c but bhaiya n1 by 2 let's say it has let's say my n1 had six elements one two three and let's say eight and let's say i say eight nine and ten and my n2 had again six elements let's say four five six and eight nine and ten so bhaiya with this fact my n1 has a size of six n2 has a size of six i'll remove these common elements n1 by 2 n2 by 2 is 3 plus 3 okay it is 3 plus 3 but the common elements are also 3 so answer would have been 9 but bhaiya um and but my answer was saying that you have to remove which means worst to worst case i can take half elements from n1 half elements from n2 half plus half is full so i can have n2 by 2 n like n1 by 2 plus n2 by 2 let's say it is n and n so n by 2 plus n by 2 is actually n in worst case so in worst case my answer is always n so for sure the, okay th this is also it can become maximum so what i can do is it was my condition right i can just take the minimum with n also minimum with n and that's your ultimate answer this is your only thing which you have to do that is your one liner answer again for the for the simplicity let's take the last example i will have i'll convert my nums one to a set I will have only 1, 2, 3. I'll convert Panas to a set. I will have 4, 5, 6. No common element. No worries. Um, the size is 3. And n by 2 is also 3. Okay. Size is 3. n by 2 is also 3. Okay. So answer is 3 plus 3. Answer is a 6. And that's how simply you can get the answer. So firstly, I'll make 3 sets. S1, S2 and common. I will use my S1 set to like just to convert nums1 to a S1 set, convert my nums2 to, to a S2 set and also parallelly finding the common elements between S1 and S2. Here I am also parallelly finding the common elements. Now I have my S1 set ready, I have my S2 set and my common set ready. Now I can just apply the same formula I wrote above which is minimum of n1 minus c comma n2 by 2 n n by 2 minimum of n2 minus c comma n by 2 plus c but it can go beyond n it it can go beyond n so just minimizing that with the n itself and that's a final one aligner answer and that's how you can simply solve it i hope that you got it bye bye